Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to XCOM 2 in our Commander playthrough. We're, uh, we're at the start of a little guerrilla operation, uh, namely Operation Empty Rhyme. Again, a rhyme. We've had a few rhymes lately. I think there was another rhyme, right? Because I started rhyming for some reason. And we need to recover an item from an advent train. We have a few uh, wounded soldiers and that's why we're gonna... Take along a few of our less used soldiers, and for the first time, a fe female soldier. Because that's actually really bad for someone like me who did a playthrough of the of XCOM enemy within with only female soldiers. But it's only difficult, and the rewards would be 93 intel, which we're uh, kind of short at uh, at the moment. So let's launch the mission. Let's see what we can do. I brought a buttload of grenades, so that should, um, well, counteract the fact that we're gonna have terrible aim. Word is, Advent has been moving secure data vaults through this area on board their transport trains. And it looks like we have an opportunity to seize material critical to the aliens' latest operation. Once we've located the gear, we'll need to secure the area and remove any alien forces defending the train. This is our chance to slow them down. Seize that material at all costs. Seize that material at all costs. So yeah, I don't really like that kind of map because it's combining a train with a building and it's really hard to sometimes spot the enemy so we can get a few nasty surprises. But we'll see how this pans out. We have a lot of grenades uh, in case anything goes wrong so we can blow up pretty much everything. But yeah, I think we will do fine, because we have two Grenadiers and two Rangers with us at the moment. So that's very, very high damage output. Um, yeah. So that should be A-OK. -okay. Menace 1-5, we've got a bead on the Advent Data Vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. So again, we have a timer, eight turns, um... And we need to be as fast as we can. Um, I'm gonna try and put Vinny on top of the building already. He's kind of concealed for now. So let's put him on the corner. It's actually a smaller building than I thought there was. The screenshot. Oh, maybe the other building is over there. Probably over there then. Uh, might be able to grapple from one side to the next then. If I'm smart about this. Here we go. Do you see anything? Apparently you don't, but I'm just gonna keep you there. Very nice uh, perching spot. Um, well, since no nobody's there, I'm just gonna move everybody up. No need to check for cover just yet. Heading to that location. Um, could start using some full cover. Since we're uh, pretty strapped for time. We need to go over there on the left. And there's a Viper right next to it at least. I've always found that a bit strange, so you can see where the item is, and that allows you to see around the item as well, for some reason. And yeah, sometimes that includes a few of the enemies, so at least one Viper over there. But I think I could e even fire at that with uh, Vinny on top of the roof here, even at that distance. Um, just move everybody a bit closer, no need to trigger them just yet. Not that we would trigger them. Uh, and then... You over there, and Yang, our first lady, as you would call it. Um, let's put you over there. And did you... Yeah, you spotted two, two advanced troopers and an officer. And something we can hack, apparently. Um, can't really see them right now, and I'm, I'm actually going to move Vinny around a bit. So he's behind cover over here. They're not going to spot him just yet, hopefully. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Let's put him on Overwatch, and that's the last thing we can do this turn. Is there something inside of the building? Because that just changed camera angle for some reason. So those guys just went over there. Not that bad, I suppose. Let's put Kistov over here. Confirmed. Then uh, Ulrich Roger. and the Rock. Jazz, Jazz, my man, Jazz. Let's put you over there. Um, Hugh. 
I don't intend on triggering anything just yet, but I'm still trying to get cover while I can. Um, this is probably gonna... Yeah, this is gonna allow me to see what's over there as well, so let's do that. And that's a Codex and two Vipers. That's a nasty combination. Because that's a lot of dodges included there. Um, so, ooh, what can you blow up? I'm just gonna take a quick look. No? No? God damn it. There seems to be... Oh! I can blow up the train for some reason. There's a large gas tank on top of the train. Let's not do that for now. Um... Everybody else might as well move closer. Uh, since we could take advantage of anything that happens after this turn. Uh, and then... Do need to be careful because if I trigger anything they're going to be at least flanking some of them. Let's put you on overwatch and then Yang. Let's put you behind the tree here. And then we should have pretty nice positions in case anything happens. Because I don't think on this difficulty... I've been playing around with Legend, the, the, high, the highest difficulty. But I don't think if any of the guys spot anything, they get a free shot. Because on Legend, they do get a free shot if you uh, put someone out in the open. Is that visible for us? Because they, they look like they're on the edge of my sight over there. So... I could, if I wanted to, start this off with a grenade. I'm actually also going to check you. Can you just quickly check? Oh, no, you can't see the tower you get from over there. Probably the tree that's in your way. Um, and you can't actually see anything. How the hell? Never mind. Never mind. Let's just blast this off uh, with a nice starting shot. Let's use one of Raya's grenades because he's in a better position than... Uh, than Yang is, so let's just do it like this. I wanna maybe not blow up my own tree, that would be bad. Uh, like this, kinda still hits the tree for some reason. Um, so yeah, blast away. Boom! And that indeed blew up the tree for some reason. Okay, so the troopers are almost gone, and the officer might as well die from a single grenade yet. Oh, but they're spreading out pretty, pretty annoyingly. Okay, but that didn't trigger the other guys. That is interesting. That didn't trigger those three over there, so if I don't move, I might actually just kill off whatever I wanted to kill off. 72 or 55? 72 with the lightning hands. Miss. Well, okay then. Never mind. I got nothing. Yeah, indeed. You don't have anything. Um. So what up? What up? What up? What up? Um, I could just use another grenade on top of those two. And that might just kill them. But six is def... Why was that six damage? Our Ulrich's grenade? Oh yeah, right. Ulrich added two damage with uh, his last perk. So that's understandable in that case. So let's just see what other shots we have. They actually lost their cover as well. Did I blow up two trees that were not even close to whatever that was? Um, apparently I did. Uh, let's see. Can I put somebody... Could put you next to the house here. That should give him a few shots. 67 at the trooper, 60 at the other trooper, and 42 at the officer. Just gonna try a sniper shot at the officer. If it kills him, great. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to re-evaluate our tactic here. Here we go, please. A graze from an officer. That is interesting. Um, well then, I think the tactic is pretty clear. If I can kill that trooper over there with you, thank you very much. Please don't let those things explode, because they look like they can explode. And then we're going to use Yang's uh, grenade. No, that is, that is Jazz. This is Yang. Hello, Yang. 
Ready for your uh, first double kill? Double kill immediately. Might not want to take too much. Uh, might not want to take out too many of the trees here, by the way. Just gonna do something like this so I can keep a bit of cover. Because uh, destroying my own cover won't really... Why does that destroy that tree? I don't get it. But hey, never mind. Must have been the amazing grenades. And that should kill everything. Although that kind of blocks me from moving forward. Because if I move forward now, Yang is wide out in the open. Um, so I'm just going to put Jazz behind the rock. That shouldn't trigger anything. Otherwise, I'm going to eat my own hand or something like that. Uh, but Kristoff is still in concealment. So I can actually come a bit closer with Kristoff. Moving to and scout it out a bit. Could have done that with Jazz as well, because he stays in concealment as well. Um, and then maybe, yeah, why not? Even closer. Just to see what happens. There we go. Okay, nothing happens, so I might as well get the drop on them. If I use Jazz as well... Ooh, but he doesn't really have a nice position. How far is this item? Over there. It's actually... Nicely out in the open, so I could use you to just hack it immediately. Um, wait, what? What? Okay, he's not a concealment. Never mind, he doesn't have that perk yet. I am stupid. Um, but nevertheless, that's not that big of a problem because Kistov is actually. Kistov actually has a really nice position over there. Um,. Just gonna put Yang in a better position. Um, yeah, why not? Let's put you over there. Move into position. And then I'm gonna trigger another batch probably. No, okay, that's that's actually really good. Because uh, now... I can actually use a grenade on top of this bunch. Do I want to do that just yet? I'm gonna wait with that because I first want to try something. Although the cover being gone would be really handy. What are Ulrich's grenades? Because Ul Ulrich's grenades do double damage. Well, not double damage. It adds two points of damage to them. Um, so if I just put him over here. He's not going to trigger anything else. That's good. And then use him to just blow... I have too many soldiers at the moment. Let's just use him to blow up this entire place. Do need to be careful. Because if I put this the wrong place, that entire tank could explode. And I don't really want to do that just yet. Um, but it's going to remove a lot of cover. But I don't think Kistov is going to get hit from that. So, yeah. Plasma grenade, 6 to 7 damage. So that could... No, it couldn't kill them. It couldn't kill the Vipers, but... Yeah, nevertheless. Try that out. Here we go, no crits for grenades just yet, so that's the- Oh wow, that looked really bad. That looked really bad for uh, Kristoff there for a second. So I'm just gonna blow up everything, I think. Spotted flanked enemy! So in other situations on Legend that would be bad, because he might get a free shot. How the hell- Where the hell are you even? Where the hell are you even? Full cover, but I don't think you're in full cover for this guy. Um, 100, 100, 100, and then 86. But I don't want to have that codex in my back, so might as well just fire away at the 86 percentage shot then. Blimo! Ooh, and a critical. That's 15 damage with the blue screen rounds. Impressed yet? That was, uh, yeah, very impressive indeed. Um, Kristoff, I might move you over there. Hopefully not triggering anything else, because that would suck. But, yeah, let's do that. He doesn't trigger anything else. Good. So, Jazz, let's see what's your best shot. 97 on the Codex. On the Codex. Blammo. Goodbye. Because I want to save my grenades. I know I can kill them easily with the grenades, but... Uh, if I can do it otherwise, why shouldn't I do it uh, nicer? Just regular shots. Yang, 74 or 71? Seriously? 74 then, I suppose? Try out your mag cannon, I'm not seeing what's happening. He dodged it, but yeah, she dodged it. But that, that, that didn't work, because the base damage is so high that the dodge is even just only half the damage. 
Uh, Hugh, you didn't have a kill in this uh, episode yet, so... Oh, you did, right, you killed that trooper. Never mind, I said nothing. Please don't blow up the train. Please don't blow up the train if Kristoff is over there. Um, five turns left. Plenty of time left. We still have two, probably two batches of enemies left. So I'm going to have to be pretty careful over here. Kind of sad that we lost, um, we lost concealment with Kristoff. But yeah, we're going to have to go across open terrain a bit. Now that we lost... Okay. We lost... Uh, well, we blew up the, the cover ourselves. Okay, so objective in range. Does that mean... You... Because you has something inside, but that's probably just the, the pillar over here. Um, so let's see, what can you hack? Just a pillar, but let's take a look. Might be something interesting in there. And just think, just if it's not, I can, uh, it's easier to see if there's something I can use later on. Soldier gains complete immunity from the next two attacks. A failed hack will result in all enemies gaining a defense and mobility boost. Well, that's a very high percentage for that override. Facility lead would be nice as well, but that's only 19%, so I'm just not going to do anything right now. Because immunity, if there's no soldiers in, in the neighborhood, well, any enemies in the neighborhood, that's just not... That's just not handy, is it? And I can't hack the... The chest from over here just yet, apparently. I'm just gonna put... I don't think he can spot that's all full cover, so he can't spot anything through that, but... Kind of feel safer if I'm just over say? here. And, of course, that triggered something. I hate myself. I really hate myself. Would you trigger? Yeah. Two troopers and a mutant. Okay. Is one of those gonna just stay over there? Yeah. Wow, that mutant is really slow for some reason. I think I kind of screwed myself over here. So, of course, very low percentage shots. Because they're so far away. So, I think... Can't even grapple from over here, so... Hmm. That immunity is looking rather nice uh, now. Um, oh fuck, they're far away actually. They're really far away. Jazz could come a bit closer. But for now that's not really going to help us out. Maybe I can throw the Mimic Beacon to throw them off? How far can I throw that? Can I throw that? Ooh, just, just behind the tree over there. I saw it, come on. Yeah, over there. Nope, nope. Nope. There. Yes. Um, I'm gonna do that just as a precaution. Just because Kristoff is in a really bad way over there. So if I put the beacon over there, they're gonna start running towards us. So if we just use Overwatch on everybody, that could be something that might work. There we go. So the Muton is always... Because the Muton prefers his melee attacks. So if he has a beacon inside, he's gonna just fire at it, uh, try to run at it and uh, hit it with his weapon. Shot wide. Ooh, that's shredded all right. All his armor is gone. Now, is he just gonna fire? Oh, why did he come closer? He could fire from over there. So for damage, it's actually not that much. Um, what are the troopers going to do? Are they gonna come closer as well? Oh, that was a dumb idea. Good. Oh, that, that was a hit. Come on. I, I see bullets hitting him. So that was the last... Five damage. True. A lot of stuff, apparently. Okay, and then the last trooper. We don't have any Overwatch shots left, I think, so... That's the end of the beacon, but that's also the last of the enemies that could shoot. Um, yeah, okay, so Mimic Beacon was killed. They're probably gonna get the reward of most on the fire again. Uh, three That's turns five. left. The is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of Yeah, time. Bradford, I know. So that means we still have two turns to kill whatever's lurking around here. Um, the Muton is as good as dead. But I just want to take my chances with... A sword attack. I'm not going to get even close enough for a sword attack. I could try... 
There's this tree stump over here, so I'm gonna go over there already. There we go. Let's check out the Schultz 50, 39, and 47. Not great, not great at all. Uh, I can't use my sword even, because I'm too far away to use my sword. But I still have a grenade. A grenade is far enough to hit the Muton, so that's a, a, a kill immediately. So that's one thing I can kill without any trouble. I can't... Damn it, I need to reload Vinny. So I'm gonna reload him, and then just pull him a bit closer. Because this position isn't really ideal for now. Although, where, where the hell am I gonna go? Maybe towards the train, because... Might come in handy that I have somebody oh, up gosh. there. Um, now we have Christophe, who can easily flank either troopers. So that's probably a guaranteed kill on one of those. And then we have Yang over here. What can she do? Because she's one of our closest troops that we have. If I can put her... She still has a grenade as well, so I might actually be able to kill... No, not kill, but I can remove the, the cover from the troopers. Which is something, but it's too bad they're not going to be dead. Uh, let's put her over there. Is she going to trigger anything? No. Okay, so now a grenade. The large radius should take care of both of them, including their cover, if I can aim this correctly. That tree is not really bothering me right now. So, like this seems to be fine. I'm just going to do that. Putting all of the troopers at low health as well. That should... Uh, yeah, I could easily kill them now. Because they're wide in the open uh, for most of the guys as well. So if I put fire a bit closer, I might actually get... Because now I can only see the muton. But if I get a bit closer... Maybe not. Yeah, full cover would be nice. Although I still want to have sight, of course. So let's put him over there. Um, Jazz doesn't have run and gun yet, so I'm just going to have to deal with this. What are Hugh's shots now? Oh, Hugh isn't even closer yet. Just going to put Hugh a bit closer. Um, let's kill the Muton with the grenade. Because Mutons actually have a high defense rating, so... Aiming at a muton is apparently harder than at a trooper, although a muton is a lot bigger than a trooper. There we go, muton destroyed. And then we have only the shot at the advanced trooper with Ulrich, so 74% might actually hit. And of course he does, thank you Ulrich. And now I can count on you. What's happening with the water texture over there? That looked weird. And then we can actually hack the chest already, so I might actually do that in a minute. Um... What, are your, what is your shot at the trooper now? 34. Do I have anybody else who can fire at that? No. So I'm going to have to do this with Christophe. Um, it's not really a problem, although I do want to do wanna watch out for anything that's going to spawn. So I'm just going to put him over there. No problem, boss. There we go. Not triggering anything. That's great. So now I'm going to just use run and gun. Put him behind the trooper. Could actually use a sword slash as well. I'm not going to use that. I'm going. There we go. Is that triggering anything? No. Okay, so 100% should kill him. There we go. 13 damage. And now I can actually move him back a bit. Well, how about that? Although he didn't actually trigger anything, so... Implacable and promotion We're earned. Picking up further contacts near your position. Ah. Site is secure. Move on the target before the charges detonate. Okay, never mind. Everybody's dead already. Only three pods. That was interesting. I expected four at least at this time in the game. Interesting. Um, research time on the current tech reduced by fifty percent. Oh my god, I'm researching plasma rifles right now. And that took a while, so 50% it is! Thank you very much! Oh my god, that is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So plasma rifles it is. Gonna be only a few days left on those. And there we go. Mission completed. Flawless! So that's actually... It's been a while since we had a flawless mission, but... That was great. 
So uh, Kristoff the runner moved the furthest again of course because he killed that last trooper. Mimic Beacon most on the fire as expected and Ulrich dealt most damage with his upgraded grenades and made most attacks as well. So 100% successful shot percentage by the way. Uh, mainly because of the multiple hits we got with the grenade launcher because I think we missed a few shots. Yeah, with uh, Vinny mostly. So yeah, Vinny actually can work a bit on his aiming because his percentages aren't that great. So I'm hating on myself actually because he's my character. So two promotions. Kristoff had a promotion which actually puts him pretty good. So deep cover if you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. You know, because uh, Cedric has that ability as well, as a hidden ability, but I don't really like that. Uh, untouchable, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. And that is actually a very great addition to uh, Implacable as well. So if you kill someone, uh, you get an extra move, you can uh, move back again. And if somebody tries to shoot at you, the next attack is actually a miss guaranteed. So that is just amazing. So Untouchable is always something I'm going to take over Deep Cover because Untouchable is just amazing. So uh, if you kill someone, you get uh, immunity for the next attack. And then Yang got a promotion. That's really, really good. So I think I'm going to go for Shredding because we're going to get across uh, a lot of um, uh, extra armor from now on. So uh, let's get Shredder. Another Shredder would be really nice. So that's it. Really nicely done, guys. Really quickly done as well. Codex Brain, two hair triggers as loot apparently. They're still giving me pretty bad loot because there's they're not advanced or anything like that. And then the corpses of everything we've killed. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. So we countered the resistance informant, which would uh, well bring the next retaliation mission really close, and we got a bit of intel uh, as well. So if I'm gonna. Yeah, plasma rifles in five days are going to be completed. That is amazing. Uh, we got the intel, which is really good. Because we need to end the intel to continue making contact. Not that we can at the moment. But we're going to start building uh, more of those. Actually, we should talk I'm to wondering. The running the black market. Um, Maybe she no. can help us out restocking the bar. Seriously, the bar, that's what you're concerned about? I can actually upgrade this thing. So if I upgrade this and increase our communication capabilities... And add an additional control station for an engineer. Hmm. I do need four power to upgrade that. So I'm just going to wait with that for a minute. Because we have the shielded power coil over here. So if we get... If we're done with clearing the alien machinery. We could actually go for the shielded power core. Although I could actually already start that, right? I'm going to build that facility right now. So power relay on top of the shielded core, 80 supplies and gets us 10, 10 power uh, as an addition. Uh, it only takes 12 days actually to build without an engineer, that's actually really good, I'm just going to do that first. Uh, so let's head back to the bridge. And let's see what else has happened around here, we're going to probably get something else. Alien alloys and alien crystals, what else do we have on the map? I was scanning for that soldier apparently i thought i was going to let that go but are we still making contact with the region yeah there we go we're still making contact with west africa although that soldier is actually really interesting as well let's scan because africa is three days so we could scan for three days when the avatar project starts up again and just do the alien facility so i'm just gonna scan for the soldier there we go, another soldier. Rumor had it a special operations force suppressed a squad of aliens in this area during the waning days of the invasion. After sending in a scouting party to investigate, we discovered a grizzled soldier living on the land. The last surviving member of their team, they were more than willing to rejoin the fight. A lieutenant sharpshooter, Fungi Akinwande. Um, that's not someone from the character pool, because I think the soldiers you're getting from those are never from the character pool or might be mistaken about that we could get more supplies at the stadium but i'm gonna start making contact because that's gonna come in handy because we're gonna get the contact them before the next supply drop so that's setting course for positive West points Africa. all around battlefield medicine complete so let's assign a new project because i don't think there's anything left over there so the nano medikit represents a substantial upgrade over our standard medikit, increasing the health restore to injured soldier. I think that adds two more health that it can uh, 
uh, clear out. Um, is there something running already? No, there's not. So let's choose project. I think we're missing out on the special grenade. So let's get another experimental grenade, which is uh, completed in, well, immediately right now because of the uh, bonus we have. Incendiary Bomb, the Incendiary Bomb, an improved version of our Incendiary Grenade, not only deals a high amount of explosive damage to every target in, in its radius, but also sets most enemies and environments alight, subjecting them to greater burning damage over time. That is actually really, really powerful against organic enemies, so... Do I want to do that again? How many Illidium cores do I have left? Why is the armory... Oh yeah, the armory is probably highlighted because I have a new soldier that needs promotion. So let's let's upgrade this guy, because he's a lieutenant immediately, which is really, really good. And then promote him immediately, so that's gifts... Oh, what was that? Covering fire. Interesting. On a sniper rifle. Um, and then we have... A long watch, of course. Uh, lightning hands, what is his aim? 85. Lightning hands, of course. And then I think I'm gonna go for quick draw. Firing your pistol with your first action no longer ends your turn. Yeah, why not? There we go. We're gonna give him the, the pistol tree. because the, the gunslinger tree, I'm sorry. Because that's that can become really, really powerful. Especially with something like EMP rounds. That's just a, a powerhouse. So let's keep him like that. Thank you very much. And then let's see. I think I'm going to go to engineering. And see how many... Because I can see my inventory over there. Hey, Commander. How many Illyrium cores? We still have three Illyrium cores, actually. Interesting. Let's get back. I've been digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding on to since before the war. I keep running across notes scrawled in English and what looks like broken German. I should probably ask him about it. So that's of course referring to uh, Dr. Wallen from the previous game. Because uh, she was a German-English scientist. Um, proving grounds. Let's go back to that. And I'm actually wondering if I should spend any more resources on something over here. There's one type of grenades I really want. And maybe I'm just going to do that. Oh, not another gas bomb. I want an acid bomb, but apparently I'm not going to get that right now. Still have two Illyrium cores. Do I make an exosuit? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait until the uh, the better suits arrive, because we're really close to those as well. So, and actually, what can I do with that gremlin? Can I put that somewhere else? Can I add that now to... Oh, I can't. So that's really just adjacent rooms, which is really sad, because I don't want to put that in the... I could upgrade this power relay. Oh, I can upgrade that to an Illyrium conduit. An additional workstation or put, convert that to an Illyrium conduit. Could do that, but I think just upgrading it would actually be more interesting because I can now put the gremlin over there. And that just boosts it even further, and then... Since that power relay, relay over there will add another 10, I think we're good for the rest of the game then, uh, in regards to power. So, Proven Ground, no items currently in build queue, that's not too bad, we can... If we need to, we can upgrade the workstation for more gremlins. But that will have to wait until we clear the alien machinery over there, so... Pretty good, pretty good all around, so let's go to the bridge. And continue making contact with West Africa. Uh oh! Avatar project is completing again. Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens' operation. So there's the another alien, alien facility that was uh, finished. Tied to the Avatar project, and that, of course, increases the timer. The in the region. And the victory is imminent again. So again, a weak time to complete that. So that's good that we could uh, start making contact with uh, that facility. I think we're pretty much on track to keep everything in check. So we need to construct the Shadow Chamber facility. That's something we're going to do once the excavation is completed. Uh, that's going to give us a few uh, blocks of respite as well. But let's first continue making contact with West Africa and then we can assault that, uh, ooh, that alien facility. But Plasma Rifle, 
Research is complete. Let's assign your research, but let's check to this out. We've got energy weapons just like theirs now. I love the design on these things. Look at that. That is now in our hands. And actually pretty pretty early as well. Because I really like those guns. Thanks to the uh the hack from the amazing hack from Hugh, of course. It's a new item available, plasma rifle and the beam pistol. A uh, new research available, beam cannon and plasma lance and the storm gun. So we can uh, investigate that and then the explanation. On more than one occasion during our initial testing of the alien plasma rifles recovered from the field, we nearly suffered a catastrophic loss of the test unit while conducting simple firing runs. After a complete disassembly and analysis, it seems that the weapon operates along a very fine threshold between ideal power levels and total system failure. Even the smallest of micro fractures to any number of lightly shielded components within the power distribution system could lead to a devastating collapse of field integrity, leaving little chance for the operator's survival. So, that was a very complicated explanation to just say those things explode. Um, I can only assume at this point the aliens had little concern for the well-being of their own forces when designing the weapon, as I have no doubt they discovered this flaw during their own testing. In any case, I'll make the appropriate modifications to our internal designs to ensure no such weakness exists for the safety of our troops. Thank you, Tygen. They're gonna appreciate that. So, the ultimate sidearm. This pistol integrates the aliens' beam weapons technology to powerful effect. And the plasma rifle, now that we finally deciphered the aliens' devastating weapon technology and can develop beam weapons of our own, we can build rifles that will be the match of any enemy our soldiers encounter in the field. That is amazing. So four days for the storm gun, that's actually interesting. Um, what's for powered armor? 15 days. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the storm gun now that we actually have two rangers. Four days only, that is actually very interesting. Four days, that's actually so... that's... wait too little why I don't know but um, we could add some more Intel to our Intel count as well but for now it doesn't seem like it's necessary so let's go with the storm gun for now begins immediately commander and then go to engineering report available and build those lovely weapons it commander. might I might run out of supplies so I have just enough supplies to go for the plasma rifle um, I don't think it's necessarily for now. So I'm just gonna go and focus on the beam pistol. Since that's gonna really buff the quick draw uh, abilities of our sharpshooters. So beam pistol. And then hold off on the plasma rifle for now. Um, yeah, that's good. So let's head back to the bridge. And continue making contact. There we go. Hello, West Africa. So that's going to add a lot more supplies again. <clears throat> and we're getting really close to the supply drop as well. Reading you loud and clear. So 70 supplies every month extra. So that's really good. And we can located. access South Africa if needed. But... Next up is probably going to be the alien facility. I am going to try. This might be a bit stupid, but I'm going to go to the battle site uh, and go over there. Avenger plotting new course. Just to let the timer run out a bit, and then we'll go to the uh, alien facility. Uh, so I'm probably just going to scan three more days over there. Okay, so alien machinery cleared. Really, really good. 88 supplies and 20 alien alloys, but we're going to use those supplies immediately to start building the shadow chamber and not the uh, the plasma rifle. So cha shadow, shadow chamber. chamber there we go. Would you like to assign them there? So that's talking about the engineers. Yeah, okay. So let's add both of them. Wait a second. Oh, I can only add one. So I'm just going to add one to the, uh, the power relay as well. There we go. It's time to have too many engineers apparently uh, let's get back to the bridge and then continue scanning and then just stop at about oh what the hell happened oh the storm gun is completed awesome with the inherent difficulties in trying to forge or manipulate the alien alloys we've recovered from the field our thought process as to how this material could be used to our advantage turn towards some of our more traditional rudimentary weapons designs. 
In containing a small cluster of alloy fragments within a highly energized magnetic field, we found it is possible to discharge a cluster using a plasma pulse of varying, in of varying intensity. The overall design is akin to that of a shotgun, although the result comes more from our inability to form proper projectiles than it does from our desire to generate this particular outcome. So they made a shotgun by accident. Having seen firsthand some of the recent alien forces our troops have been dealing with, I have no doubt they'll still find this new design appealing for its overall stopping power. And that they will, so codename FLAC. Very interesting. The storm gun fires a concentrated set of beam pulses, piercing and melting the target across a substantial surface area. Um, next up, I think we should just go for power armor. Uh, we could finish these sooner, but we still don't have the supplies and I don't think we'll have them anytime soon. So I'm just gonna go for powered armor. I foresee a number of valuable and maybe if we're lucky we can get another hack that just speeds that up. So let's get back to the bridge. The How close are we to the end of that timer? Uh, just, just a little bit. Oh! Jesus Christ, stop doing that. So the power relay is operational, which is really good. So that gives us a bit more space. And I might actually use that last engineers to start already excavating this room. Excavation required. Excavate. And I think... How many extra power does that Kremlin give me? Uh, can't I actually add another Kremlin here? No, not, not building mode. This mode. Can I add? No, this, so the Kremlins are busy. So there's two, oh yeah, there's two Kremlins in the power relay. If I remove that, it's just five power. So if I remove one, how the hell? Oh yeah, right. We don't need to have those Kremlins over there anymore. So let's just put all the Kremlins in here. And complete that excavation a bit faster. So let's empty that out. Uh, and we get all, could also uh, already just put that back in if we need to. So decreases that even more. There we go, and now we can excavate that in just 10 days. So let's head to the bridge. I hope I haven't scanned too far ahead, because that was... Oh, yeah, okay, we need to go to that alien facility. So, let's head over here, and let's destroy Commander, this thing. Now that we've established contact with the local resistance, we've got the details we need to move on the alien's facility. This is our chance to set back their work on the Avatar project. And that we will, Bradford, that we will. So... This is the squad we've had, we used in the previous episode. Um, I'm just gonna quickly... It's very difficult, of course, because it's a facility, uh, but I do want to change this out a bit. Um, I'm gonna remove Jazz for now. I'm gonna put back Benito, because uh, his skull checking might come in handy. Two Grenadiers is perfect in my eyes, although... Ulrich packs the most punch right now, so... Hmm... Could actually remove Yang as well and put Cedric back in, or is... Wait a second. Oh, he's still 12 days wounded. Oh, never mind. Um, so yeah, maybe Geralt? Or just put Yang back in. You know what, why not? We just need to level those lower guys up anyway, so let's put Yang in. Uh, Vinny is still good with the EMP rounds. We have an EMP grenade if it needs to happen. And I think I'm going to add... Yeah, I'm going to give Yang the incendiary grenade. Because we got that right, right now as well. And maybe... Do we need another gas grenade? I don't think we need to. Um, although... Gas grenades are nice. Gas grenades are nice. I'm just going to give you another gas grenade. There we go, gas bomb, and then there's something else I wanted to change, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just manage equipment, make uh, utility items available, and then give Kristoff the Mimic Beacon. Because I'm guessing we're gonna be able to use that in this mission. Uh, so he doesn't have a grenade anymore, but that's not too bad, because we have plenty of grenades in the other guys. So that's the squad we're gonna sabotage another alien facility with. We're gonna blow that to hell, and I uh, guess I'll see you in the next episode then. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye!